welcome to Reading Matters with Ify. Today's story is about not being perfect. Sometimes I can be sensible, sometimes I'm not so sensible. We try to be perfect but no one is so perfect. So this story is titled The Not So Perfect Penguin by Steve Smallman. I hope you enjoy the story. On a snowy, blowy island in the middle of the sea lived a group of perfect penguins. They were smart and serious and sensible, all except for Percy, who was, well, not so perfect. The other penguins ate their dinner sensibly, but Percy always played with his food. Eat nicely, Percy, the biggest penguin said. While the other penguins waddled along seriously, Percy slid on his tummy. Be careful, Percy, the oldest penguin grumbled. The other penguins swam smoothly through the water, catching lots of fish. But Percy liked to jump and play, turning somersaults and landing with a big splash. Look out, Percy, the smallest penguin said. You silly penguin. When it was really cold, all the penguins huddled together. Percy felt warm and safe in the middle of the group. But then, oh dear, he needed to... Ew, Percy, the penguin said. You smelly penguin. They went and stood away from Percy. Percy waddled away sadly. My friends think I'm silly and smelly. I'll never be perfect like them. The snow fell harder and the wind blew stronger. It's cold on my own, said Percy, shimmering. Percy made himself a new friend from snow and ice, but the snow penguin wasn't very warm to cuddle up to. Without Percy, the penguins ate their dinner sensibly. It's so quiet, the oldest penguin said. They swam seriously without splashing. It's rather dull, the biggest penguin said. They waddled along in a smart line. It's a bit boring, the fluffiest penguin said. Oh, I wish Percy was here, the smallest penguin said. What will happen to Percy? The oldest penguin said. He's all alone in the freezing cold. The penguins began to worry. So they waddled off through the swelling snow to look for Percy. Percy, where are you? Where are you? In an icy cave, they found two snow penguins. One had lost his beak but the other looked familiar. It was Percy. All the penguins gathered around him and cuddled him. Slowly, slowly, the snow began to melt. When Percy's flippers were free of snow, he stretched and tickle, tickle, tickle. It tickled all the penguins and all the penguins all fell out laughing. Oh, Percy, the smallest penguin giggled, it's good to have you back. Surrounded by happy penguins, Percy felt that maybe he didn't need to be perfect after all. His friends loved him just as he was. The end. So just remember, no matter how you are, somebody loves you just the way you are. So, until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Happy reading.